Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, uh, welcome to this virtual edition of uh, CWMUN. I'm pleased to announce the um, first welcome into this beautiful world of the MUN. Um, I'm Enrico Giardina, uh, Chief of Junior Staff and Junior Project Manager for CWMUN. Uh, fam a familiar face for many of you, for some others is the first time seeing this um, um, meeting my face and meeting this world of Change the World MUN. So a big, big warm welcome uh, to all of you. For some of you, it's the first time here. For some others, um, it's a recurrent meeting. Um, we saw many familiar faces along uh, the participants and we really, really hope to see you very, very soon uh, and meeting you all in person in more or less a week in Rome, uh, in the beautiful city of Rome. Uh, before starting this opening ceremony, um, we usually launch a video that briefly summarizes what is Associazione Diplomatici and what is the essence, the mission of Change the World in Yuan, just to give you a brief welcome and a brief introduction of our history. Associazione Diplomatici was founded in Catania in 2000, thanks to the idea of Claudio Corbino, who felt the necessity of finding a new tool which allowed a new and practical approach towards the study while putting the students in contact with the international careers. Quite soon, Associazione Diplomatici affirms its success within Italy and around the globe, where in a few years becomes an incubator for all those students who wanted to join Model UN projects. In such projects, they can simulate the main organs of the UN and where they can confront themselves with the international environment, also learning all main skills for the job scenario. In 2012, thanks to the support of the Italia Permanent Mission and the United Nations, Diplomatici founds the Change the World Model UN. Today recognized as the most prestigious youth forum in the world, it is also the first non-American institution in history to run a model UN conference at the UN headquarters. The Change the World is easily recognizable by its spirit and it is aimed at fostering a Pacific coexistence among many diversities. Young students role play the positions of the head of state, government, ministers, the roles of the ambassadors, and study any possible solution inspired by the most esteemed representatives of the world of diplomacy, culture, and sport. Thank you very much, Olivier. CWMUN is the best peaceful answer for all those young millennials that have become the main characters of a world, unfortunately, ripped apart by both violent and extremist pushes, and it gives them a real gym where they can train in order to deal with the global challenges of nowadays. The huge success of the Change the World Model UN inspired Diplomatici to turn the main conference in a year-long program of conferences in the main capitals of the world. Rome, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Barcelona, as well as New York City. Meanwhile, Associazione Diplomatici announces several and new projects that put in first place international studies. And in 2016, Associazione Diplomatici is officially recognized with the ECOSOC adversary status, the most prestigious recognition given by the UN to a non-government authority. In 2018, Diplomatici has become the editor of the East-West magazine and while the East-West European Institute was founded. In March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic took the world by surprise. It is then that Diplomatici quickly organized itself and created the first Model UN virtual in history. It turned out to be a success, attended by a thousand young people who want to continue to stay together to study and understand the world. Diplomatici's online activities intensify and a series of activities are created again and again. 
In the meantime, the world restarts and the experience gained in these two years gives new impetus to Diplomatici, which reorganizes new online activities as well as live ones such as Emirates Change the World, which is once again a great success. President Clinton's participation in Catania during the new Diplomatici event again marks the association's ability to bring the world's great leaders into the international debate. Today, Diplomatici is in contact each year with over 50,000 students who want to study international affairs and become citizens of the world. So this was just a quick video to show you around what Associazione Diplomatici is and what Change the World did in the past, and also a quick parenthesis on how the virtual MUN uh, was born uh, with Change the World. Uh, I know that some of you have seen the video uh, with a big, big banner uh, below. It was kind of the subtitles of the video, uh, but uh, you will be more than free to um, re-watch the video if you would like to in our YouTube channel. Um, now, before getting the floor, before leaving the floor to my fellow friend and general director of Associazione Diplomatica, Alessandro Di Maiuta, I would like to encourage you all to enjoy the conference. As I said at the beginning of the session, uh, for some of you, it's the first time, for some others, is um, not the first time. Um, just enjoy the conference, just keep your best and fulfill this experience at the max. All in this way, you can be, uh, you can live your best experience, you can learn from change the world and you can start making an impact on the next generation. Thank you all, see you in closing and now I'll leave the floor to Alessandro. Grazie Enrico, and uh, I think I would like to thank first of all before going into depth into what I wanted to say this morning or this afternoon uh, is thanking Enrico, thanking the, the entire team for the efforts in this virtual conference and also obviously then in the live conference, which all of you will witness in, in 10 days, less than 10 days now, because now it's the first or in a week's time. Uh, my name is Alessandra, I'm the General Director of Associazione Diplomatici and of the Change the World MUN. Uh, it is my utmost pleasure and honour to be here today, to welcome you here. Um, I reserve a special part of my heart to the conference, uh, to the Rome conference, because um, especially I, I live in Rome, so it's, it's mainly for that, but also for the reason that um, when we created this conference in 2012, um, it was still, um, we thought it was a minor conference uh, out of all our conferences, but then it developed, as you will see uh, next week, in the most uh, international conference of all, due to the fact that the highest number of participants is going to come from all over the world. I think that is the biggest plus of the Change the World Rome. Um, second aspect and second reason why I love so much Change the World Rome is for the fact that it takes place in this beautiful city of Rome. Uh, it's not a perfect city where to live, but it has so many beautiful uh, things. Uh, there is a very nice atmosphere. So um, alongside the conference, I, I'm really sure that all of you will enjoy as much as possible um, the city of Rome that is here to welcome you all. Uh, said this, so uh, here in Rome, um, we are linked to the United Nations. The food and agriculture compartment of the UN is based here in Rome, the entire worldwide. We've got the FAO, we've got the um, IFAD, we've got the uh, World Food Program, all based here in Rome. Uh, we have a partnership going on with the FAO that unfortunately this year will not see us going there. Uh, due to mainly logistical reasons. They are renovating finally the spaces of the building of the FAO uh, that is in um, Aventino. And for this reason, it was not possible going there uh, for this year. Um, we decided to partner, especially this year, we always choose a campaign on which to support 
uh, the United Nations. We are part of the United Nations being an, an NGO. Um, and this year we've decided uh, under the, the uh, Council of the FAO to do a campaign on sustainability, on uh, climate change and on food waste. Food waste is one of the most important pressing topics nowadays because as we have seen also due to the fact of what's happening in Ukraine, uh, food, uh, the, the, the uh, chain, the, the supply chain of food is becoming even more complicated. Um, and for that reason, there are so many important aspects linked to sustainability that all of you should tackle in your daily life. One of them is definitely food waste, and I think it's the easiest one. Uh, the fact of um, buying only what you really need uh, food-wise, uh, not throwing out all and leaving things in your plate. Uh, all these small things can really make an enormous impact. The second important aspect of food waste is also linked, as I was saying, to food sustainability. It is not normal that I'm going to eat an avocado here in Rome that is cultivated in South America. So that avocado is traveling all uh, the length. And um, we, we feel that um, starting from the small things, we can really ch create a change in the future that we can um, be a small seed of, of change uh, for all the people that are next to us. I wish, I wish, I honestly wish for all of you to be this uh, seed of change, of changing a bit the way your impact, your footprint is, um, is, is impacting negatively. I hope you, you create a positive impact. And that's what we are really trying here with Change Your World. We have organized many interesting things. Uh, the conference venue is in the dead center of Rome. So that is gonna help you all out. Uh, for all the um, high school students, we also organized um, side activities such as our usual delegate dance. Um, they're gonna be very important and nice aspects uh, throughout the conference, um, just to create the perfect environment for all of you. During the conference, linked to what I've said, and I don't wanna spoil um, anything, um, we have uh, created, there's gonna be a campaign and we strongly ask your help in this campaign. You're gonna see all the details once you join, join us here in Rome, um, but we want you to be a bit um, a vehicle of change through your social medias, through your platforms, through your friends, et cetera, et cetera, linked to the campaign that we are putting on. Young generation, you all are already doing such an amazing job in, in, in doing something proactively with the Fridays for Future or other things that you've, you've created. Now I think it is time to um, do the extra step. Enough talking, we need action. And I think it's what we will try to, um, to push a bit throughout the conference. Um, I think uh, one as last aspect that I wanted to uh, share with you before uh, giving back the floor to Enrico was on the way you should be living this virtual conference and then also the conference in Rome. Modern UNs are a particular learning activity. And the biggest key, the biggest focal point of all of this is in you, in all of you, in the way you approach the conference. If you arrive at the conference with barriers, with pre-concept, with uh, the fact of uh, you feeling too shy to, to participate in these type of events, you will definitely learn something because you want to see your peers working. But uh, the biggest part of the um, of the, uh, the the activity is in your hands. You are going to be the protagonist of these three days from now till Friday and next week. So really throw yourself at it. Be like sponges. Try to absorb as much as possible, as much as, uh, as much knowledge as possible. Um, really try to know each other uh, throughout the conference. That is, and also an, a very important aspect of of the conference. This is the essence of Model UN, and that is what we do so well in the Change the World MUN. Said this, I want to thank you again, all of you, for your patience for these ten minutes of patience in me chatting. And uh, I am so looking forward to meeting you all uh, next week here in Rome. And uh, so enjoy this conference, really be proactive, do the best and be the best. And I'll leave back the floor to Enrico, thanking him once more. Thank you, Ale. Uh, before heading to the conference, as Alessandro correctly said, 
first of all, taking into consideration all his advisors. He's a very, very experienced MUNers, as you may manage, imagine. So do not take for granted what he said, especially in terms of barriers and your approach to the conference. Taking that in consideration, also related to the, our partnership with the Food and Agriculture Organization based in Rome, we decided to start thinking about the future. And the campaign that together with the Food and Agriculture Organization uh, decided to support for this year, for this virtual event, is the food waste management. Uh, many, many people do not know exactly how the food waste works. Um, many of us cannot imagine how big the issue is and how it's affecting also the main thing that is climate change. Um, so I'm going to leave you very quickly to a brief video in order to give you a perspective. Many, count, many committees that are going to uh, be inside this MUN virtual and live uh, are going to be related to climate change, food and agriculture organization, of course, the certification and many other aspects. And try to link all together also with the main topic that is that the food waste and the uh, food and agriculture issue. So without further ado, I'm going to leave you once again the floor to the FAU. <music> Approximately 30% of food produced for human consumption around the world is either lost or wasted each year. This is equivalent to 1.3 billion tons of food. Food loss and waste uh, can be caused by so many different factors. And I'm talking about technological issues, uh, economic factors, uh, business considerations, and very important the human practices. Uh, attitudes and human behavior. It is not an issue only of developing countries. It is an issue of transition and industrialized countries alike. We talk about an issue that globally impacts directly food and nutrition security for all. But we have to realize that for this food to be produced, Anywhere in the world, a high amount of precious natural resources are being used, like land and water. And a lot of energy is being used with the equivalent emission of greenhouse gases. And if this is all done for nothing, because the food is not being eaten, that is something that we cannot uh, allow to happen. The Sustainable Development Goals concern all countries. This will involve not only the capacity of the countries to address the issues at policy level, but also directly involves the private sector. Only the private sector, the farmers, the processors, the retailers, all the people who are directly involved in this system can reduce food loss and waste at any significant scale. Challenges and opportunities are context dependent. We have to make sure that the solutions are technically feasible and that the technology is uh, not causing, uh, let's say, a greater damage to either the economy or the environment. So we need to put the social aspect with the economic aspects and the environmental aspects together in order to actually have a sustainable solution for full loss and waste prevention and reduction. So as you saw, um, this was a brief campaign launched a few years ago, actually, but it's still very, very modern. The FNAO organization is starting once again to do a new campaign, a new impact on food waste and how it's affecting our climate change issue. So for this reason, let's enjoy the conference, but responsibility thinking about what can we make also uh, about climate change and the food waste? 
try to figure out solution in your resolution, try to figure out way in which you can fight with your country and with your co-delegate, the food waste and the climate change. Saying that, once again, thank you very much for being here. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing all of you in Rome in the next week. Uh, we are going to be more than ready to enjoy with you this conference. I hope you are going to leave your expectation. I hope you are going to enjoy this virtual conference and then giving all your best in the CWMUN Rome 2023. Thank you so much for being here with us today. See you during the opening, during the closing ceremony. Now you can all join your committee session. You have all received the Zoom link uh, through your email um, be coming from your chairperson. So you can now move to Zoom and start with the first session of this model UN. See you all, enjoy and good luck. Bye-bye.